Hey everybody, it's Dustin from the Funky Beatdown channel and this is a sample comparison video. Um, I don't want to brag and be really full of myself here, but I was the technically the first person to discover this drum break that was used by this particular group. Uh, once, in a bl once in a blue moon, I do discover a lot of uh, samples that were used by artists and their songs that were overlo overlooked. But, you know, the same thing happens to me. I overlook a lot of music and a lot of people discover samples that I kind of uh, just didn't think about at the time. And, of course, it's impossible to, you know, keep track of all the music that's out there in the world. I mean, it's just impossible. You can only do so much. But uh, anyway, getting back to the samples, um, the group that I'm mentioning here is called Sweetback, and they're kind of like a funk, neo-soul type of band. And uh, this is for their song, All Natural, which features the raps from female rapper Bahamadia, and this 12-inch single, and uh, their album came out on uh, Epic Records in 1996. And this, the album version of this song samples the drums from uh, I Know Get Eye for Back by saxophone player Houston Person. This is on his 1977 album uh, Harmony which came out on Mercury Records. And uh, for most of you, or some of you know, this drum break was sampled last year for Kendrick rapper Kendrick Lamar's song Mortal, Men, or Mortal Man on his To Pimp a Butterfly album. And I don't really think this is my favorite drum break. I think it is a unique break. It has, it's kind of, it's kind of got an interesting tempo to it. Um, but yeah, getting back to the group Sweetback, uh, I had never heard of this group before, before I picked up this 12-inch uh, single. And I went on the internet, you know, and uh, like most people who discover music nowadays, I, you know, researched who this group was and... Apparently, they were, or they still are, the backing band for the singer Shaw Day. And, of course, they had, they had tremendous success with that. But it does appear that their own solo work outside of Shaw Day's material, I don't think they really hit it that big. I mean, obviously, obviously this group really flew under the radar for me. So, um, but yeah... I will say this, you know, as being as you know, being a DJ and being a, a person who collects, you know, records, I can't tell you thou the thousands of times that I have come across uh, artists or groups or rappers or you know whatever type of music, you know, I I come across people, you know, stuff I never even knew existed, and you know, it's it's that that's that's the cool part about it because you get to you get to, you know, it's not, you know, it's not necessarily like you're, uh, you know, downloading music and you discover stuff, you know, on iTunes or something. Well, I'm not knocking that at all, but, you know, it's, you know, digging for records, you do come across a lot of stuff that, you know, at one point or another, the artist or whoever was involved thought it was going to be a big time success. And, you know, sometimes... Most times in music, it just doesn't, you know, artists put out stuff and then, you know, either they keep going or they just fail and they only have a few, uh, a little bit of material. So, uh, anyway, sorry to get, I'll get off that tangent. Um, I'm going to play the sample um, and instead, and instead of, you know, mixing the drum break with the actual song, I'm going to mix the drum break with the instrumental because I think it fits out better, but uh, it fits better. But if you want to, if you want to look up the, if you, if you're interested in the track with the vocals, the full version is available on YouTube. 